It sounds pretty good to them, and off they go. Everything's great up until it's not. Zero seven five zero three five red eye contact and uh, Roger climb on course. Climb on course. Climb on course. Zero seven five. Everybody's zero, in a good mood. Confirm that request got through with three thousand five hundred. If that's okay, we're heading out to Shawnee for zero seven five. So that's exactly what VFR flight following does. He'll confirm your altitude. Just let me know 3,500 is where you're going. Yep, he's not quite there yet. Uh, and he says, well, there's traffic above you at 4,500. So he doesn't have to call that out. But if he's got time, it's a courtesy. It keeps everybody safe. And that's what VFR flight following is. So this guy's already got VFR flight following. He's on his way to Shawnee. Everything's going great. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Zoro sub five going down. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Right up until that. So something happened, and it happened in a real hurry. Uh, this is a single engine aircraft. I. I'm assuming at this point that he's probably got engine failure of some sort. What caused the engine failure? We're not going to find out. He doesn't have enough time. This guy is probably at about now 2,500 feet at this point climbing out. He loses his engine. At this point, your head is on a swivel, right? And I know because I fly single engine. I fly my own private airplane and it's different than being in a commercial jet. It's not that I'm not paying attention all the time in my commercial jet. It's not the same level of heightened awareness of I might have to find some place to land that's not a runway. And so every single engine pilot listening to this knows exactly what I'm talking about. You're always kind of tense and you're kind of always on and your head's doing this the whole time, right? The whole time you're flying, you're looking at your instruments, you're checking your parameters and you're looking and seeing if I had to land, I could go there. If I had to ditch, I could go there. If I had to put it down, I could go there. You're constantly doing this. This guy now has the worst moment of his life. He's flying along. He doesn't have a lot of altitude. He doesn't have a lot of time to glide to Tinker or back to Oklahoma. He's got to look for an open field or someplace to put this airplane down. Something catastrophic 